It's Dan. Hey, man, how's it going? Fuck you, God! Woo. Dan, what are you doing? We have a show to do. I'm doing it. No, you're just doing push-ups. We're talking late night show. Wait, there's more to the late night show than this Rocky montage? Yeah, man, we got jokes. We wrote a lot of stuff. I've been doing this for two months. Oh, can you make this into a blazer by any chance? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Live from Annenberg TV Studio One, it's Temple tonight. Here's your host, Dan Cass. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. We are gonna have a lot of fun tonight. How you guys doing? All right. All right. Welcome to Temple tonight. My name is Dan Cass. This is the first time I've ever hosted a late night show. And it's going an awful lot similar to my first time riding a bike in that my dad isn't here to teach me how to do it. <laughs> but this is going to be a lot of fun. We, I've been working really hard on this. Hosting a late night show has always been a dream of mine, except being a hand model, but maybe. <laughs> this is actually just a showcase for that. People, people all the time compare me to a young Johnny Carson. They go, wow, Dan, you are nothing like a young Johnny Carson. <laughs> Give up on your dreams. If you want to do like a little icebreaker like we do in class, we could do true, two truths and a lie. One, I am terrified right now. <laughs> two, I have a golden retriever named Bebo. And three, I am terrified right now. <laughs> Sincerely. We are very similar to other late night talk shows. By my side tonight is my good friend and sidekick, Greg Keating. <laughs> He does bear a striking resemblance to late night host Conan O'Brien. And, if you squint, Little Orphan Annie. The 2014 version. We do not have a house band, but we have something better. A house plant, The Roots from Philadelphia. Their gardener is Questlove, but he spells it with a Q, because that's how you naturally would spell that word. All right, let's start this off with the monologue. What do you guys think, right? <laughs> Just so you know, if at any point this goes wrong, my late night safe word is Sedexo. So please run up and help me if that is there. All right, the Secret Service is seeking $8 million from Congress to build a White House replica for training new recruits. Yelled one conspiracy theorist, we've had a White House replica for years! <laughs> The Indian government has banned the movie Fifty Stage of Grey from being shown in the country. So, if you're in India and looking to see women oppressed and abused, you're going to have to settle for going literally anywhere else in India. <laughs> this seems like a Glenn Beck crowd. You guys like Glenn Beck? No one applied. <laughs> Wrong demo. Well, for those of you who missed it, obviously, Glenn Beck recently stated on his radio show that he no longer considers himself a Republican. Now he's just an ass. <laughs> Crocs, I see some of you wearing Crocs in the crowd right now. Don't try and hide it. Crocs recently released new shoes designed to look like hamburgers. Now, some people think that these new Crocs will make children crave junk food every time they see their shoes. But chances are, if you're wearing hamburger Crocs, you probably can't see your feet anyway. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. A bowler in the Ukraine accidentally threw a grenade down the lane instead of a bowling ball. Needless to say, he rolled a strike and no one was spared. <laughs> No one was injured in that joke, nor the actual incident, just so you guys know. 
Recent studies have found unusually high levels of arsenic in boxed wine frangia. You guys like frangia? <laughs> People did not want to admit to that, but I know you do. <laughs> Though regular consumers are worried about the potential health risks, one housewife said, good. <laughs> I like how that joke was an unusually high amount of arsenic. Like, there might always be arsenic in your frangia, but this time it was unusual. A baseball player in Utah was stung by bees an upward of 300 times last week. Impressed by their speed and proximity, the bees were immediately signed to a four-year contract by the Phillies. <laughs> Those numbers don't lie. Those numbers don't lie. And finally, Mattel will be releasing a new Wi-Fi-enabled Barbie doll that has the ability to talk to children. Keeping with the standards of her era, she only speaks when spoken to. <laughs> Those times have not changed. We have a great show for you tonight. Give it up for the roots! Yeah. We'll be right back with more. We'll go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Temple tonight. Do we have a show for you? Joining me later, the men's club gymnastics team is going to be here. It's going to be great. You can be excited. I'm excited. Music from the band Plainview is going right. to be here. It's going to be a really fun show. Real quick, I just want to thank all of our producers, our writers, Paul Gluck and the TUTV practicum class for helping us out with this. They're doing an amazing job. We have been really hard at work at this show going on months and months. I yeah. feel like I've missed a lot of things. Yeah, have you heard what's been going on around campus? No, what happened? A lot of things. Have you been checking your phone? No, though I have it right here. Yeah. All right, so do I. Actually, on airplane mode. Well, take it off, man, because we got a lot of TU alerts. Like what? Oh, here we go. I'll pull up one, for example. <laughs> so, Perhaps a few. Perhaps a few, for example. Here you go. Here, oh, wait, here's one. TU alert. Police are investigating an arson attempt in Johnson and Hardwick residence halls. Uh, suspect's mixtape was reportedly fire. <laughs> oh. Right on. All right, it's got one. To you alert, police reporting that the Bell Tower preacher admits the Big Bang Theory is his favorite show. <laughs> Area is Bazinga. <laughs> police reportedly still searching for lost dun -dun -dun at 13th and Paulette. Suspect reportedly dropped it last fall after police specifically said, quote, don't. You gotta watch out for that. To you alert, female student met with male student after matching on Tinder. He was not a murderer and she actually looked like the girl in her pictures. Area is safe, area is casually hooking up, but like text and Snapchat every day. Good for them, good for them. Oh, to you alert, Temple, Uni Temple University has recently employed 20 new bike cops for its campus, bringing new meaning to the phrase, safety school. <laughs> mm. To you alert, professor completely forgets student's name, calls her something random, and gets it right. Area is safe, Area does not think he's a jerk. <laughs> to you alert, a Temple student just landed a summer internship with Comcast, where his net pay will be a very neutral zero dollars an hour. <laughs> Times are tough, man. Times are tough. To you alert, there has been a squirrel takeover. Chief Squirrel has taken students hostage at the bell tower and plans to congregate in Beery Hall. Avoid the area. The area is not safe. <laughs> Do you think that was a typo? No. It's not a typo. Oh. To you alert, police still searching for love in all the wrong places. One victim reportedly suffered a broken heart. Damn you, Diane! Ah, to you alert, police would like to apologize for the last message. Bike Cop Dale is going through a nasty divorce. Him and Diane were so perfect together. Can't win them all. You cannot. <laughs> Especially when you're on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I got a follow up to my previous one too. To you alert, the squirrels have officially taken over campus police. Students may now pay their tuition in forms of food scraps and trash and may be delivered to Chief Squirrel himself. Area is so safe, area has never been better. <laughs> All right, I think we, we caught up. Those are all the TU alerts. We are all caught up. Nice. I'm kind of afraid to go outside now, though. <laughs> I know, with all that stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's not the run-of-the-mill stuff that we usually have here at Temple. That was some interesting That was some interesting yeah, things. Yeah. But I'm glad I'm informed. Yeah, that's a good thing. Now. <laughs> I feel much better. You know, while we were preparing for this late night show, we looked at all of our competition to kind of inspire some ideas of who we could have on, who can make you guys laugh. And with that in mind, we have quite an exciting treat for you. So please help welcome our first comedian guest, Paul the Comedian, who is sheltered. Right, right over there, Paul. Oh, okay. uh, hey, hey, ladies and germs. Uh, I'm Paul. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> okay, so um, I I listened to a lot of comedians uh, before, so I'm re I, I'm ready to go. All right, we're excited to have you, Paul. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, uh, what's the deal with airline food, huh? Um. I, I've never been on a plane before, but I hear it's not that good. <laughs> okay, um, um, hold on. Okay, I did that one. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, um, you ever notice how great Mother is? Um, she, she, she's really nice. Uh, uh, one time I was really sick, and she made me that really good porridge uh, that she makes, you know? Paul, Paul, excuse me. I don't. I don't mean to butt in during your set. Then don't. <laughs> it it seems like these jokes are really specific to you. Do you have anything that maybe our whole audience can relate to? Oh, uh, yeah, you got it. Hot pocket. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, hey. Um. What's it with Justin Bieber? You know, like, is is he an actor or chef or something? Uh, like, does he does he like girls? <laughs> Did you write that down on your flashcard? Yeah, or, um, uh, hey, uh, don't you love it uh, when you're sitting in your house? <laughs> was that the whole joke? <laughs> what, you don't love sitting in your house? <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> so, Papa is so old. <laughs> How, How old, old is, is he? he? Okay, um, I think about 56. I, I, I don't really know though, like he, he doesn't have a lot of wrinkles, like he aged like really well, I think, for a man. Um, okay, um, okay, okay. Hey, uh, you ever been on a date that wasn't in your imagination? <laughs> Not me. Um, I mean, uh, imagination's cool though, because like, the dining room could be a fancy restaurant in Paris or, or Rome or Trenton. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I don't, yeah. I don't want to interrupt you again. Then don't. I, I don't know why you're doing this to me. I'm going to ask you a personal question. Okay. Have you ever been outside of your own house? Once, a, a, a squirrel spat at me, so, uh, so I ran back in. The squirrels from before, probably. Oh. What? Oh. It was a callback. Oh, okay. Paul, okay. you're aware this studio is not your home, right? Is it not? No, this is a college TV studio. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Paul, ladies and gentlemen, the comedian with no life experience. We will be right back with the men's gymnastics team. Don't go anywhere on Temple Tonight. Back to Temple tonight. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Holding up all right? I haven't cried yet, so I feel great. Our first guests are joining us from the Temple's men's gymnastics club team. Please welcome Anton Wright and team captain and club president, Mike Bitterman. Thank you guys. There, there are a lot of, lot of rumblings about the gymnastics team, and so I want to address the elephant in the room right away. What is it like to wear spandex? <laughs> oh man, it's a whole nother world, I'll tell you that much. Is spandex like difficult to put on? I literally have questions on spandex, but... <laughs> Not so much putting on the spandex, but at the bottom, they get difficult. Does it, does it work with the ladies? Mm, no. 
No? no. <laughs> well, it depends, Only, on, it, it, it depends on how you look at it. Typically, people get a nice peek of what you're packing, so it's fine. <laughs> I like the way he plays this. I will not be returning my spandex. <laughs> so last year, nine teams were cut from Temple Athletics, including your own. Was that rough? Oh, extremely. So, so what happened next after that incident? Uh, right when that happened, I mean, you know, it took a little bit for it to hit home. Uh, we're all sitting there in the mm -hmm. pavilion, and you know, we're looking around at the other teams, still asking ourselves if this is real, like if this is real life, if this is happening. Uh, but we gathered right after that. We went over to the gym, and we started working out. Uh, we sat in the middle of the floor. It was quiet while we were stretching, but uh, we came close together because we've been a family. I mean, growing up, uh, the gymnastics community is small, so we knew each other coming in, and after that, we just knew we needed each other to get through this. So we went into the gym, and we started working out right away. Anton, how did you respond? Uh, a lot of emotions. Uh, that was one of the few moments where I actually cried, and people looking at me right now, I don't ever do that. But <laughs> You look like a happened. really tough guy. Yeah, yeah, you'd be surprised. Uh, <laughs> but um, at that moment, there really was nothing that we could do. I felt utterly helpless and emotional like crazy, but all we could do was go back to the gym, finish the season, leave a good lasting impression as our last um, season as a varsity team. So that's all we could do. And now, season later, you guys have kind of transitioned a little bit. Now you're a club team. Yeah. How has that been? Oh, it's definitely been rough. There's uh, been the ups, there's been the downs. Uh, you know, it's still hard to realize that we're not a varsity program anymore. Um, but we are grateful that we're still here as a club program. Uh, we can still compete against every varsity team we've competed against before. Um, we have a nice budget, so we're allowed to fly places. We went to Puerto Rico for our spring break trip. We got to compete against wait, their Wait, you went to Puerto Rico? Hold on, go back to that we real did. quick. <laughs> oh, man. They paid for you to go to Puerto Rico. Yes, and we competed against the Puerto Rican national team, Penn State and Michigan, while we were out there. Isn't the Puerto Rican national team also the American national team? Isn't that, wouldn't that be the same? Nope, they're separated. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Learning all, new things all day. Did you win? No. Oh, well. <laughs> So go down to Puerto Rico then. <laughs> so including the Puerto Rican thing, because that sounds amazing, what have been some of your other achievements this past season? Uh, about two weeks ago, we competed at the USAG Gymnastics Championships. Uh, we took second place there as a team. Um, we came up a couple shorts point, uh, a couple points short behind Arizona State University, who's a really good competitor of ours. Um, and this past weekend, we competed at the ECAC Championships, and we had six individuals qualify for individual event finals on Saturday, and we had two... Uh, two guys get medals on that day, so. Excellent, congratulations. And your you. season closer's coming soon? <laughs> yes, uh, next Friday. Next Friday, yep. and can, is that open to the student body? Can it is, go? it's right down in the Philadelphia Convention Center, so anybody's welcome. Oh, awesome. Please, please come, please do. Yep. Good luck, good luck. Now, I wanna ask your help for something. In high school, I had to be in a male pageant, and, <laughs> wasn't a <that> joke, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to do a forward roll and my mom and my girlfriend at the time tried to teach me, and I think we actually have a clip of that, if we could show that real quick. Ready? One, two, three, go! See? You, see you gotta how? keep your head down! You see how my body works. Do you guys think you can help me out? You can show me how to do a forward roll? Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I am back here with Mike and Anton from the men's gymnastics club team here at Temple. And they are going to show me how to do my first forward roll. All right. All right, what am I going to do? So it's, uh, first, let's squat down, get a nice deep squat, let's put our hands. This, what we need to do is get our chin to our chest. Chin to uh, chest. Chin to chest, and then you're going to put your head down. You want to roll on the back of your neck and get your butt over your head. What? What? You what? got it. You got it. There you go. I did it! Oh, my first forward roll! Oh, man. I feel like I'm in kindergarten. Wow. <laughs> and you guys are going to do some stuff for us? All right, yeah, a little All right, show them what you got. Woo! Woo! Woo!
tantalizingly well. That would totally ruin it. <laughs> Is that all you got? Yeah. All right. Mike and Anton, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We'll be right back with Plain View. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Jack Barron from Temple Tonight. And I'm Shane Duffner from Temple Tonight. And we're here at Temple University's Bell Tower to ask some one question interviews. Now Jack, what is a one question interview? Well, we're going to ask one question, they're going to give us an answer, and then we're going to stand there. Just like this. And see how they react. Let's go. What is your favorite animal? So my question is, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream and why? What is your favorite movie? Hmm. Butterfly. Cookie dough? Fired up. It's a cheerleading movie. Don't ask. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? <laughs> um, my favorite is cookie dough, and it just has like the best of both worlds cookies and ice cream. Have you seen it? It's got chocolate chips and cookies and vanilla ice cream. Okay, you have to see it before you can give me that look. Gleamer. Of course. It's satirical. It's funny, well, good, good script, great acting, low budget. <laughs> Godfather, Godfather, great movie. Um, giraffe. <laughs> giraffe. That's it, <laughs> that's an animal. Just a lot of visceral, viral characters, men. Uh, ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. Probably chocolate ice cream and cake. I can go with that one. Chocolate ice cream and cake. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> the Sopranos. Um, Rocky. Sea biscuit. A probably chocolate cake. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Shane, for that awesome piece. Our next musical guest, our rock band from right here in Philadelphia. Their newest EP is coming out this May, so be on the lookout for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Plainview. I don't like the idea of moving backwards. There's nothing new that's going on. The lack of drive that pushes you forward So you fall right back to that same girl you Broke your heart with no clue of what was going on but Sliding down a slippery slope just gotta try to grab a hold If anything really that can stop you fall While slippery people skate around you With a giant grin and mocking eyes Cause they love this so much But you just wanna cry Whoa Whoa But feeling lost, you're just so confident, it throws me off. But all I want to do is wallow in self pity, cause you crushed me yesterday. With no recollection of doing such a thing. Don't worry about me, you're easily brushed off. Who am I? Sitting 
shotgun on the way to Pittsburgh when we get there we'll feel so alive sitting shotgun on the way to Pittsburgh when we get there we'll feel so alive sitting shotgun That is all you want. Can we get this trombone in there next time? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Plainview. Thank you for tuning in to Temple tonight, and we'll see you all real soon. Come back. What you're looking for is that the